One of the things that I've spent a lot of time thinking over the years in my own career is leadership. And what does that mean for me? You have to remember I was trained as a scientist. And for many years in my life, I recognized myself as an expert in a certain area. And that's how I thought of myself. As you get older, as you have to manage people, you realize it's not just your expertise, but it's the ability to bring people together in the right way to get things done. And so we come back to the question of leadership. What does that mean? What does that mean for each and every one of us? Because pres the president can have a certain definition of leadership, but it's important for all of us to think of that. And for me, it means the ability to motivate people. I thought, you know, as the groups that I've managed over the years got bigger, and as I was no longer an expert in the areas that I was managing, and the people that I was, ma was managing um, were my peers in some ways, and sometimes they were older than I are or had more expertise, what was it that I was bringing to that group? And I thought, again, I've mentioned this many times, leadership. And again, the differentiating factor for me was the ability to motivate people. The difference between a manager and a leader is that a leader will turn around and people will follow. And what makes people follow is that inspiration, that motivation, that ability that a leader has to make thing, people feel that they can be and do things that they didn't think they were capable. And if we think of a leaders, if we think of Obama, that I think he was able to motivate people to think we can make a change regardless of your politics. He was able to inspire people to make a change. If you think of heroes, our own heroes, the people that we respect, is that ability to think bigger than ourselves. And so that's how I think about leadership. That's how I think about how I run my groups. And that, how does that express itself? It means just from even saying hello in a happy way and respecting people. The people that I have respected have treated, you know, Nobel laureates, famous people with the same kind of respect that you may treat somebody that is cleaning your floors. And, and, and showing people respect, excitement for what I, they do is a way, I think, that shows leadership in the right way.